Hey folks, it's Laura with Rain Tree Nursery. And this video is a follow-up to our previous video about espalier training. This is the summer after that video was taken. And you can see my form is looking really good. I'm getting lots of new growth. And pruning on espalier trees is a process. It's important to go back several times every year, assess what you've done, maybe you correct some things, and maybe you do some new work. I can see that there are some things that need correction on this form, and there's lots of new work to be done. Let's do it together. So the first thing we're gonna do here is an extension of our work last time, and that is to continue to tie down the sideways branches, the lateral branches that are called cordones on a form like this. This one is almost to the right length, but see it's very floppy, so it does need to be tied down gently, just like we did with the other branches. Once this starts growing a little bit longer, we will tip that back, which will encourage some spur formation itself. So here's an interesting circumstance. As I'm continuing to tie down the ends of these cordons, I've run into a situation where I have two possibilities that I could keep and tie down. One, and then this one here. So you need to do a little bit of an assessment. Which one looks like it's growing in the stronger lateral position? This one does. It already looks like it's trying to develop a fruiting spur here. This one's going a little bit down. I don't like that position as much. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this one as the extension of the cordon. And then this one will get pruned off and hopefully it will create a new fruiting spur or two. The next set of chores is pruning. And the first type of pruning I'm going to do is to prune brand new branches that have grown this year. So here is my example of brand new wood that has just grown this year. I want to prune this back to three buds, nice and short, and I expect that one of these buds will create brand new fruiting spurs. So I'm gonna cut right there, like that. Now that I've finished doing all of this year's new uprights, I'm gonna go back and do some restorative pruning on some of the branches that I pruned too conservatively last year. My initial cut should have been above the third bud. One, two, three. I should have cut here, but I didn't. I cut too high. Now that's not critical because I now have one, two new spurs in place, but they could have been down lower and the form would have been better had I cut it originally. What I'm gonna do is cut here to leave those two spurs in place and be more careful to cut lower next time. And now for the pruning itself, here is an example of the corrective pruning, cutting right above the two new spurs, just like that. I'm gonna go do the same thing on the next branch. Again, I cut it a little high, so I'm just gonna take off all of this new growth to concentrate the energy on the two new fruiting spurs, which is what I wanted, and hopefully that will encourage this little branch to create some more spurs down low. So that comes off like that. And then one more, again, way too long. It is in fact developing a fruiting spur right here. I'm gonna cut off all of this new growth to promote the development of this spur and hopefully developing more spurs down low. Just like that. Now, while I'm in here doing this restorative pruning, I noticed something else. Here is this crazy horizontal branch that has a terrible crotch angle. I don't know what I was thinking here, but it needs to come out. This branch angle is so acute, it's even hard to get to to cut. So I wanna cut it right past the branch collar as carefully as I can, just like that. And there you have it. It looks a lot different, doesn't it? You're gonna to continue to do this kind of pruning over and over again. Every time you see another 
three inches or so of new growth, that's the time to grab your clippers, come out, and continue to have a conversation with your espalier tree. You'll start seeing fruit in a year or two, and it will just get better and better year after year. Thanks for joining us. It's Laura with Rain Tree Nursery. Take care.